Welcome to Jack and Nori, and I would love to tell you a story. It's a bit of a crappy story, but it's a story nevertheless. Well, I used to live in Norfolk with my dear missus and our six uh, kids. I kid you not. Yes, yeah, six kids. Do you want one? Anyway, what we used to love to do is to jump in a car and visit the coast and have a stroll. Maybe some cockles, some fish and chips, or even a crab from Cromer. But would I do that today? Oh, no, I won't. No. But before we get into it, please boot the old like button, and there will be a secret word at the end of this video. Oh, I wonder what it'll be. Oh, well, you won't know until you get to the end, will you? Unless you just, like, drag the thing across, and then you'll get to the end anyway. But don't do that. Watch the video, because you'll be enlightened. Well, <laughs> I just did apologize. Why are we doing that? I think I am. Anyway, there's been a study. Yeah. Mm. And it might kind of, you might think to yourself, well, I'll no longer go for a lovely stroll along that beach, sea air and all that. Yeah, just find out that you, well, your face has been um, battered with sewerage bacteria in the process. I kid you not, a study has been done. A study. Got to listen to the studies, you see, it's called science. I know the Brexiters, you know, those who put the cross in the wrong box, who railroaded this government into power. <laughs> and everything's gone to pot. So yes, I do play Brexit. So there you go. Anyway, that's not what this video is about, though. It's about the poop in our rivers and seas. This study, it's a bit of an eye-opener. It may have been done in Mexico, but that's not the point. The point is, it's gone airborne! You're inhaling poop! If you go to the beach, or even, well, live in land. Yes. That's found. Well, they're found as it travels. Not on a Ryanair, no, just in the air. In micro droplets. From sea spray. So, in this study, that's been released on Thursday by researchers last Thursday, just gone. At the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, Oceanography, it looked at an area south of San Diego near the US-Mexico border, where a Mexican wastewater treatment plant, you, know, you know, see where I'm going here, can't you, you know? I wonder why. Oh yes, I might have something to do with that. But yeah, um, the study that was just released, well, it was last Thursday, by researchers at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Well, they looked at... Um, an area of uh, San Diego, near the US-Mexico border, where a Mexican wastewater treatment plant often uh, well, becomes overwhelmed and spews sewage, yes, sewage, into the Tijuana uh, River. Now that river then flows north into the Imperial Beach on the northern side of the border, and the beach, well, there's, but it's closed for 249 days. Just last year. So basically it's closed. Pretty much. Might as well be. This is due to high levels of pathogens like E. coli, norovirus, salmonella. But until now, little was known about. What happened when the crashing waves sent salt spray into the air? So they did a study. Yes, a team of researchers, they sampled the coastal aerosols. Basically micro droplets in the air at the Imperial Beach and water from the Tijana River for, for 26 days between January and May 2019, focusing on times after the storms, because that's, you know, because of the um, oh, combined sewage outlets, the storm overflows, you see. That's more poop gets ends up in the seas and rivers, you see. Yeah. They use DNA sequencing to match bacteria and chemical compounds um, in coastal aerosols, so that's the micro droplets in the air. Well, they matched it back to the sewage polluted uh, Tijuana River, flowing into the ocean, just like it does in the UK. Mm. They found that three quarters of the bacteria in the air came directly from the sewage in the surf zone. Yeah. Where the waves are breaking and it all gets in the air. I know some of you are not going to be convinced. Or you're making an excuse. Oh, well, that's Mexico. It doesn't matter. You know the state of our rivers and seas. They're constantly pumping this stuff. 
Well, not constantly, but they might as well be. It's no longer safe to swim in our rivers or seas, and it's no longer to live near the coast. Because it's been found, uh, well, in the air, up to miles inland. Miles. There you are. You think you're sunning yourself on a nice sunny day, if it ever happens in the UK. Get rid of your tan lines and all that, yeah? You got your pina coladas or whatever you drink. Mate, that's the UK, it's probably going to be a Carlsberg, isn't it? But anyway, whatever it might be. <laughs> and uh, how little do you know? It's all around you. Poop. Literally. In the air. And you're inhaling it. E. coli. Norovirus. Salmonella. Lovely. Not. Ugh. What a horrible thought. Well, the secret word of today is if you do go swimming, <coughs> you might have to cough <coughs> on a turd after you swallowed one. Maybe it went the wrong way. I don't know. No. But might have done. So the secret word of today is a name. Because there's also somebody who happens to be the environment minister. Yeah, Defra and all that. To release the coffee. So, coffee turd. Kofi. So the secret word that happens to be a name is Kofi. Oh my God. It gets from bad to worse, doesn't it? When are we going to start taking care of the place that we live? It's a bit daft, isn't it? It's like pooping on your doorstep. Not a great idea. No, you might as well do, actually. We'll just jump in and you have a little paddle about. And probably good for the skin. Probably. It's not your digestive track. No. <laughs> oh, tell me what you think. Please leave in the comments down below. And remember, the secret word of the day is... Uh, Kofi Turd. Hashtag Kofi Turd. <laughs> if you've been most kind, then boop the old like button. And if you've got sports, you can do that on Patreon or buy us a coffee. And Sunday's at 8pm uh, British time, UK time, whatever it might be. GMT. Or, well, 9 o'clock CET. We go live. So you can join us there if you want. But yeah, if you want to support us, you don't pay to one buy us a copy in the links down below. But also, we're planting a thousand trees on two acres of land. If you'll be a part of that project, there's a GoFundMe link down below, and I'll tell you all about it. And we'll put a stuff get we'll put a sign with that tree. Yeah. It, it could be called Police the Copy Tree if she makes a donation. <laughs> oh, God. No. No, I refuse. Well, it's time for me to go, so I'm going to say ta-ta, you know, so ta-ta. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. The turds are everywhere. Invasion of the turd. It's a turd invasion. <laughs>